Hello everyone, Ian here and welcome to the Fun Guy channel and for today's video I always wanted to do a best weapons list since I started playing Destiny so this will be that video. And I think it's a good time since everyone and their mothers were grinding out Trials of Osiris this past weekend for the gun called uh, Immortal. <laughs> well I'll tell you, it ain't better than that recluse right? <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> And I just wanted to point out that this is my personal opinion on what I think is the most dominant weapons in our current sandbox for Crucible, whether you're playing 6v6 or slapping on that sweat band for Trials. And this list reflects the most used weapons in the Crucible and what I personally saw in Trials this past weekend. So these will be the top tier weapons that you might want to consider putting in your loadouts before jumping into Crucible. And what perfect timing since this week is Iron Banner week, so let's get into this video. But before I do, if you're new around here, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notifications so that way you'll be notified when a new video goes up. Okay, starting off with my number 5 and it's going to go to the Matador 64 Arc Shotgun. It's a precision frame and it's just an overall great shotgun that has some very good PvP perks. And I've seen this shotgun running around up and down trials this past weekend and it was doing work. And the rolls I have for mine is almost a god roll, if only I had a better barrel instead of small bore. But it does come with accurized rounds, perpetual motion, killing wind with a range masterwork. So you can grind for a roll like this, or you can find one that better fits your playstyle. And you can farm for the Amatador at the Grass of Alvarez dungeon, and I believe it drops in the very first boss, which is the big ogre. So the Matador 64 shotgun made my top 5. Overall, like I said, a great energy shotgun that pairs perfect with a kinetic hand cannon or SMG. And for the number 4 spot, that's going to go to the beloved Solar Sniper Rifle. And this one, in my opinion, being a sniper since D1, the beloved is the best sniper rifle currently in the game for PvP. And I'm not going to do numbers because that's not that type of video, but I've been using the Beloved and all other kinds of snipers and nothing feels and hits as good as this one. Especially if you can get a roll with snapshot sights and moving target. All the other perks don't really matter too much, but man, just ask any player that is a sniper about the Beloved. And I can assure you they will agree that it is the best sniper, if not one of the best in the game. But unfortunately, if you don't have the beloved sniper, I don't think it's actually dropping anywhere right now. But if it is, let us know down in the comments because I think it was tied to the Leviathan, right? But once it becomes available, and if you like sniping, definitely grind it out to get the beloved sniper rifle. Alright, coming down to the number 3 spot, and that's going to go to the only exotic weapon in this list. And that is the No Time to Explain Kinetic Pulse Rifle. It's a 340 rounds per minute monster in the Crucible. I go back and forth using this thing and every time I do, it always surprises me how good this pulse rifle is. And that's me not having the catalyst either. But overall, I feel that the no time to explain pulse rifle just got left behind with the addition to the messenger being a powerhouse or even the horror release being out there in the wild making players want to uninstall. And I see more and more players starting to use the no time to explain and that's great. So if you don't have this exotic yet, I say go ahead and grind for one. Okay, so for that number two spot on the list, and this one's my personal favorite weapon on this list, and what I consider the best hand cannon in the game, and that is the Rose Kinetic Hand Cannon. I can talk all day about how good the Rose is, but I'll save you that time so you can go out there and grind for this weapon. But that's where the bad part comes into play here, because in order to get the Rose, you gotta get into that comp playlist. And with every new season, you will have to play seven games to place in the rankings, but every week after that, you only have to play 3 games to have a chance to get that god roll for this hand cannon. And I know for some players out there, it ain't a big deal. But for most players, it seems like a lot. And it is. But there's no doubt that the Rose hand cannon is a top tier choice for casual and competitive PvP. And finally, for that number 1 spot on the list, and it's gonna go to... The Recluse. <laughs> I'm just playing. The Immortal Kinetic SMG from Trials. And it made that number one spot because I haven't seen so many players try for a weapon since the Recluse came out. <laughs> and the player count this past Trials was wild. But for good reason, the Immortal SMG does live up to the hype because of its crazy stats, topping it off with some very good perks. I know most players out there were trying to go for a specific role for the SMG, but really, you can practically use an alright role on the Immortal and it's still going to be better than the majority of SMGs in the game. It's really that good. Oh, and you don't need an adept version of this gun because the base version is just as good. Though I heard whispers of a nerf might be coming to the Immortal, but I'm pretty sure it's still going to be very good. <laughs> so I would recommend hopping into Trials Playlist when the event comes back to get yourself the SMG to add to your PvP loadout. 
And that's it. That is my top five PvP weapons for the current sandbox in Destiny 2's Lightfall Season of Defiance. And I know there are tons of great weapons out there. So let us know down in the comments what is your top tier choice of weapons for the Crucible. Because I didn't even put my all time favorite gun on this list. And it is the absolute best Destiny weapon of all Destiny history. And that is the last word. <laughs> You heard that right, brother. But that's going to be it for me, guys. If you found this video useful, please consider leaving a like on it. Subscribe to the channel as well. And stay positive out there. And until next time, peace out.